Shalom, shalom, shalom. All praises, honor, and glory. It goes to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakai Kodash. Double honor to the apostles, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, broke a thumb to the whole full elect. Shalom, shalom. It's the brother Taziyar Bayami from the GMS Kansas City Church. Uh, back with one more lesson. Title of this lesson will be These People Will Always Hate what they cannot understand. You know, these people will always hate what they cannot understand. And uh, this is just a message or a lesson, you know, going into the, uh, you know, the message that we we put out frequently, but, uh, you know, through due to certain situations, you know, I just want to speak on it and go over it again, just about being being an outcast, you know, not being accepted of people in the world because it's not like we 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 intentionally go out here looking for enemies it's not like we intentionally go out here you know fucking with people you know if you if you if you know us you know if you know us hey jake jake are jake is a a, a people of peace you know, that's what Jerusalem means. Jerusalem means city of peace. You know, if we had it our way, we would, you know, we would get up, do our jobs, you know, do whatever we want after work, you know, preach the truth with no drama, with free course. You know, but this isn't the life that that's not the type of lifestyle that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has for us. You know, even though we will never know, even though we will never know the full extent of what Yahweh Shai been through in his carnation, we'll never know the extent of humiliation and rejection and, you know, being talked down upon. We'll, we'll, we'll never experience, experience that to it, to that extent. But these things we have to experience because Yahweh Shai went through it. So if Yahweh Shah went through it, A, it's written for us to experience certain things, man. You know, speaking on a testimony, you know, in my job, I, I mentioned that office, you know, often I work in a small office, you know, really in a small office, you don't, you don't want to have too much drama, you know, you want to keep your head down. But, you know, I, you know, I got, my desk is next to a, a few, uh, few Mexican crows. <laughs> I'll put it that way. My desk is next to a few Mexican crows. And, you know, Jake, you know, we, we try to keep it cool. But, you know, visually, we, we got a manly spirit. So we're going to say things. We're going to offset people. And I could kind of tell that, you know, my spirit was offsetting these people. Not nothing I did directly. Just, just me for, you know, what I do, how I operate. You know how I operate on it on, on a day to day basis. And so just just off of that, you know, me me trying to relocate away from these people, because, you know, who likes to be in a hostile environment every day? Well, you know, they they got word that I was trying to, you know, move away and be on my own shit. And, and hey, there it go. There it go. Now it's now it's Satan, <laughs> Satan, Satan in my job, man. But that's just low level, man, because we still, you know, we still experience being outcasts in this everyday world, man. I didn't I didn't go into bars and stand at the bar and everybody just clear out from around me, not out of anything I did. But it's a spirit that we have on us, man. You know, it's a spirit that we have on us. We live in a very filthy, dirty world. You see, and so when your when your spirit is clean. You know, when your spirit is clean by the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and you and you walk around with that cleanliness, you walk around with that with that godly aura. It's a turn off to a lot of people in the world, and as we say frequently out here uh, in KC, that you you got to grow comfortable with being a bad guy, man. You got to grow comfortable with making people uncomfortable. Yeah, you, know, you see what I'm saying. You gotta you have to grow comfortable with, with people not accepting. You have to grow comfortable with people not liking you, man. 
You know, it's been time where I didn't I didn't gone out and been in a room full of people and, and ain't get one one single phone number. <laughs> I'm not saying it's all about that, but Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is showing us that we're not here to be friends, friends with the world, man. We're not. We're not. We're not here to be friends with the world. We're not here on a Donald Trump, Kamala Harris. Uh, I want everybody to like me campaign, man. Being honest, I don't give a fuck if anybody in Kansas City likes me, man. You know, we you have to have a very, very real and very true hatred for this place. Which on the opposite end of that is very true, fervent love for the brothers and Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. This is John chapter three, verse 19. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hated the light. Neither coming to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Right. So it's nothing. It's nothing that we're doing wrong. It's just the fact that we hold the light that Yahweh Shah gave us. You know, Yahweh Shah said, I, I, I am, I am the light of the world. And we, and we, and we have that light inside of us. So it's nothing that. There's nothing wrong that, that we're doing. It's just a matter of fact that these people are so evil and wicked that they can't stand our presence. And, you know, on the outside, you may think, damn, why is that? You know, we cool. You know, we crack jokes. We know how to talk football. You know, we know how to kick it. We, we you know, we, 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 we drink with the rest of them, you know. But it's a, it's a spiritual thing. You know, we always have to always have to look on the inside on a spiritual level man John 3 verse 19 again and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light niggas love darkness man <laughs> because their deeds were evil for everyone that doeth evil hated the light neither coming to the light right neither coming to it so they separate yourself from it they 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 talk bad about it they slander it they make the light seem, they make the light seem evil. You know what the scriptures say? Woe to them that, that make evil good and good evil. It say for everyone that do it evil, hated the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that do it truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they were wrought in the most high, man. You see? And that's 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 just a part of this walk. That's just a part of this walk, man. And, you know, the more the more you grow into the truth, the more you accept it and the more you kind of ex expect it. You know, that that just goes to show that we can't get too comfortable with these people, man. Don't get too friendly with these people, because the same motherfucker that that you cool with and y'all y'all cracking jokes are the same people that Satan can hop up on and put hell in your life and vexation in your life, man. So just a quick message. It ain't got to be nothing too long. Lord willing's video edifying. All praises, honor, and glory. It goes Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Brachet Thumb to the whole full act. Shalom, Shalom.